Despite the incredible influence wielded by the U.S. government, the American people remain one of the most uninformed electorates in the industrialized world. Case in point, check out some of these shocking stats that Alternate compiled in 2010. Nearly one-fifth of Americans believe Obama's a Muslim. 25% don't believe in evolution. And a shocking half of Americans believe that Saddam Hussein was directly involved in 9-11. This phenomenon is due in large part to the fact that almost everything you see and hear in the mainstream is controlled by only six giant corporate conglomerates, Viacom, Time Warner, Disney, News Corp, CBS, and General Electric. These massive corporations have boards of directors who sit on the boards of other enormous industries like food, telecom, energy, and weapons. See, in the world of corporate media, there's only one rule and one rule only. Sell, 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 sell fear, sell worry, sell propaganda like it's going out of style. It's not about providing news, folks. It's about keeping those profits increasing year after year. But luckily, Americans are beginning to wake up to the fear-mongering and superficial fluff, and an overwhelming majority of them no longer trust the corporate media at all for fair reporting. Which brings me to the first ever march against the mainstream media happening this Saturday, November 16th. At 2 p.m. on this day, activists from all over the world, from the U.S. to Australia, are organizing outside the studios of major media headquarters to protest. You can find out about your local event at mamsm.info or on Facebook at March Against Mainstream Media or on Twitter at hashtag mamsm. Look, this is not about begging the corporate media establishment to listen to the people and provide real news because they won't. They won't. This is about calling attention to the issue so that people know not to watch it, not to trust it, and most importantly, to unplug it. This movement is about pushing alternative voices that can be trusted, that have no corporate agenda. Because without an open and honest media, there cannot be an informed citizenry to control this country's fate. So let's get out there, let's get active, and let's put the media back where it belongs in the hands of the people.